welcome back to Spoto Channel. I'm Christy, and I'm today I'm the host of Spoto Tech Talk. Recently, we have launched over uh, Spoto Tech Talk to share about the latest news about network news, network trends, network exam topics, tips, and network career. I really appreciate if you can subscribe our channel and give me a thumb up to this video, which allows my video to reach out more people just like you. As small business move to cloud to run their operation, they depend more and more companies like Cisco, which makes the networking hardware and software that makes the uh, cloud work. If you want to work as a, a network professional, a Cisco certification can help you stand out at your company and on the job market. Okay, but there are so many Cisco certifications to choose from. How do you know which one to take? In today's episode, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about the school certification and the learning paths. Number one, Cisco certification overview and background. Cisco has four levels of certification, entry, associate, professional, and expert. Cisco used to have an architect level, but it's no longer available. In some areas, you can get specialized uh, level on the top of core levels. Most of certification are in either software uh, development or network infrastructure, with IT and technical certification in high demand, Cisco guides you during every uh, step of uh, process from reviewing uh, exam topics to preparing and pretexting for each exam to scheduling an exam through uh, third part provider person VUE. Number two, Cisco's uh, certification levels. The entry level certification is intended for individuals in, uh, interested in working as Cisco technicians or field engineers. The associate level prepares you for a career in information technology and network technologies. You can take one track to learn a variety of fundamental skills or you can specialize in software development or cyber security. Uh, the professional level uh, expanded you uh, advertisement by focusing on core technologies such as software development, enterprise networking, data center management or security. So the expert level qualifies you for a more advanced skill sets in areas such as wireless networking, data center administration and security. Let's start from entry level certification. Number one, entry level certification. The entry level offers Cisco certified technician certification, which allows you to uh, diagnose, uh, restore, repair, and replace Cisco network and system diverse from Cisco uh, customer. In addition, you will collaborate with the Cisco Technical Assistance Center to resolve support issues. There are no formal uh, prerequisites, but you should be familiar with the exam topics beforehand. The CCT certification offers three concentrations. It requires you pass an exam. So the first concentration is CCT collaboration, which focuses on the skills needed for you to support and maintain Cisco collaboration products, such as forms and video uh, conferencing diverse. You should be able to in identify uh, the different modules, uh, accelerates, capables, and software required, and use the Cisco command line interface to service products. The second concentration is CCT Data Center, which covers the knowledge needed to support and maintain Cisco artifact data center computers and service. You would have to identify the various uh, service accessory and cables as well as the network operating system and software. You will also be able to use the Cisco uh, GraphPhil uh, user interface to service the different products. So at 90 minutes for CCT collaboration and CCT data center, if exam 
each consists of 65 to uh, 75 multiple choice and filled in uh, grand uh, questions. Uh, the third concentration is city routing and switching, which focus on the skills required to support and maintain physical uh, routers, switches, and operating systems. Uh, you have to identify the different Cisco routers and switching models and software and be able to use the Cisco command line enterprise. Okay, so the 19 minutes exam consist, uh, consists of 55 to 65 multiple uh, choice and film in the blank questions. These certifications are designed for film engineers who cooperation uh, with the Cisco Technical Assistance Center to resolve support in systems uh, in those three technology areas. If a uh, film engineer only supports our routers and switches, for example, we would uh, could need to pass the CCT routing and switching concentration. Number two is our associate level certification. The uh, associate level allows you uh, to advance your networking career by offering three types of certification. To obtain certification in any of three, you must pass one exam. There is no uh, formal prerequisite for the exam, but one or more years of experience in plans maintaining and administrating Cisco solutions is recommended. First one is an A, which is the most popular certification for computer network engineers provided by the company named Cisco Systems. Okay, so it's valid for all types of engineers, including at Entry-level network uh, engineers, uh, network administrators, network support engineers, and network specialists. It helps to become familiar with broad range of networking concepts like uh, OSI materials, IP addressing, uh, network security, and etc. It's estimated that more than one million CCNA certification has been uh, awarded since it was first launched in uh, 1999. So CCNA stands for Cisco Certified uh, Network Associate. The CCNA certificate covers a broad range of networking concepts and CCNA basics. Uh, it helps candidates to study CCNA fundamentals and prepare for the latest network technology they are likely to work on. At uh, 120 minutes, the exam consists of uh, multiple choice and film in the blank questions. Second one is uh, uh, Divinet Associate, the Cisco certified uh, Divinet Associate focus on the software development. There are no pre-requested, uh, low Cisco recommended at least one year of experience uh, developing software and, and, and a familiarity with uh, program with certification test your skills at developing and maintaining application built on Cisco platforms. So the 120 minutes exam consists multiple choice and fill in the black questions. The third one is CyberOps Associate. The Cisco Certified CyberOps Associate concentrates on uh, cybersecurity and has no uh, formal prerequisite. This certification verifies your knowledge of cybersecurity operation skills and uh, process centers. At 120 minutes, the exam contains uh, 95 to 105 uh, multiple uh, choice and filming the blank questions. As our experience, the first two associate certifications, CCNA and Divinet uh, Associate, are more specific. Specific, but are hard, and the skill sets you learn are in a high demand. For many candidates, I like to take CCNA exam because it provides a foundation, uh, foundation in case you want to move forward with following CCNP certification and applies the center security uh, service provider and collaboration. If you want to pass any CCNA certification exam,
then you can use photo starting materials, photo offer 100% uh, premium uh, practice test, let cover the real exam question, let answer is verified by IT expert, and you can enjoy free update 24 7 online support. You can download bottle of free study material and practice test demo available link in the subscribe section. Number three is professional level certification. The professional level provides certification in several areas, allowing you to specialize in area of interest and expertise. So this is ideal if you want to concentrate your career on a specific topic or technology. You must pass two exams for each certification. One covering one. One covering core technologies and another with concentration of your choice. There are no uh, formal prerequisites for exam, but you should have a good understanding of exam topics before you taking the exam. Professional level certification candidates often uh, have three to five years to experience uh, implementing related networking solutions. Number one is CCMP Enterprise. The CCMP Enterprise certification confers your ability to work with networking technologies at larger organizations or enterprises. Number two is CCMP Data Center. The CCMP Data Center certification focuses on your skills working with networking technologies within a data center. Number three is CCMP Security. A CCMP Security Certification verifies your ability to work with cybersecurity tools and service. Number four is CCMP Service Provider. The CCMP Service Provider Certification is uh, regret you uh, network engineers and specialized a specialist testing your ability to provide the right type of networking service for Cisco customers. And five is CCMP collaboration. The CCMP collaboration certification judges your skills at working with Cisco collaborative tools such as phones and video conference diverse. Number six is Cisco certification. Uh, Cyber Oops Professional Cisco Certificate uh, Cyber Oops Professional Certification uh, confers your capabilities as a security analyst manager and enhancing cybersecurity for Cisco networking service. Number seven is Cisco uh, Certificate uh, uh, Devnet Professional. So the Cisco uh, Certified uh, Devnet Professional Certification tests your ability to develop and maintain software application built on Cisco systems. Uh, for the about the core exam of professional level certification runs 120 minutes. While one concentration exam lasts 90 minutes, according to the Cisco, uh, the three most pop popular professional certification are CCMP Enterprise, CCMP uh, Security, and the Cisco Certified Diver Net Professional. Number four, expert level certification. The expert level certification fuller, fuller your career with more challenging uh, exam testing an uh, advantage the level of hands of knowledge and skills. You can pursue any one of seven certifications. For each, you must pass two exams, a qualified writing exam and practical hands on lab exam. There are no uh, formal pre uh, requested for each expert level certification, but you should have a, a thorough uh, understanding of exam topics before taking the exam. Candidates are recommended to have five to seven years of experience with designing, deploying, operating, and optimizing uh, specific network technologies and solutions 
uh, prior to taking the exam. Number one is CCDE, the Cisco Certified Design Expert at Certification, MA2, MA at Expert Level Network Design Engineers and uh, Network Team Leaders assess your ability to create network infrastructure for large customer networks. Number two is CCIE, Enterprise Infrastructure, the Cisco Certified in uh, Internetwork Expert at PIS in flat structure certification assess your ability to work with larger enterprise network in flat structure. Number three is CCIE enterprise wireless. The CCIE enterprise wireless certification test your experience work with wireless network tools and service. Number four is CCIE data center. So the CCIE data center certification confirms your skill set of developing a complete network service for a data center. Number five is CCIE security. The CCIE security certification confirms your ability to design security environments for a network. Number six is CCIE service provider. The CCIE service provider certification tests your ability to design the right type of networking service for a Cisco customer. Number six, number seven is CCIE uh, collaboration. So the CCIE collaboration certification covers your experience with Cisco collaborative tools and technologies. According to Cisco, uh, the three most popular certification at this level are CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure, CCIE Security, and CCIE Data Center. As we know, employees see CCIE as one of the most influential networking certification a network engineer can have, and those who process them are often industry leaders due to their extensive knowledge. After listening to introduction of each Cisco level, you must have the basic knowledge about Cisco certification, but with so many Cisco certification available, how do you choose the right path? Let's move to the next part. is Cisco Certification Learning Passes. The learning passes for Cisco Certification vary by level, concentration, and your existing knowledge and experience. For example, someone interested in working uh, with networks in data center might begin with the entry level CC, uh, CCT data center certification, then program to the professional level CCNP data center certification as core focus. And finally, to get expert CCI data center certification. However, you are not required to follow a path from one level to the next. My suggestion is individuals can become certified in any level without needing to be certified in any lower level certification. If you have subject uh, prerequisite, you can enter any level for certification. Okay, so thank you so much for your time in watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and share my video with your friends. If you need my help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp via the link on the subscribe section. See you next time. Bye-bye.